Hi, I'm reggae girl Marlo Sweatman. You're watching Eddie Vision TV. Like, share, and subscribe. <laughs> Viewers and subscribers, welcome back to Edivision TV, the channel where we look at sports differently. Now, a lot to talk about. Lauren Donald's out. Not a surprise, we saw this coming and um, it was clear that the JFF would not be renewing his contract. You know, you don't let a man's contract run all the way down before you, you, know, you engage him in negotiation. You know, a lot to discuss in this video. I will be letting you guys know who is a front runner for the job. Yes, I believe the JFF has already identified a candidate. You know, in their release, they said that, you know, they, they are still looking and the search will begin for the new coach. But I believe, and according to my sources, think that they already have a man lined up remember you know, the girls have games in October so it, it cannot be a long talent search so they have already identified a cheap option and the option is there but I'll let you guys know at the end of this video now outgoing senior regular girls coach Lon Donaldson stopped just short of saying he's the victim of a personal vendetta waged against him by the jamaica football federation general secretary Dennis strong as he refuted claims about how discussions to cut ties transpired donaldson in response to a widely circulated release by the jff pointed out that the decision not to renew his contract was no means neutral as a meeting with Chung and JFF's human resource manager, Suji George Gale, lasted a mere five minutes. The JFF, in its statement, said, After an extended discussion, both parties came to an agreement that the contract would not be renewed. But Donaldson, in an interview with Sportsmax, rubbish that claim. Chung said, They are terminating me. There was no discussion in a five-minute meeting. He just said congrats on everything. And the next thing was, we will not renew your contract. There was no reason why or anything. He just said, we will not renew your contract. He shared. Donaldson, along with former head coach Hugh Mendes, was first introduced to the Regal Girls program by women's football ambassador Sedella Marley in 2015 and led the country to an historic first FIFA Women's World Cup appearance in France 2019. Like he did in 2019, Donaldson again led the reggae girls to the World Cup jointly hosted by Australia and New Zealand and where they had an historic run to the run of 16 after drawing with France and Brazil and defeating Panama in the group stage. The Rega girls eventually bowed out following a one love defeat to Colombia. Another thing that he said is that if they had done well in the Olympic qualifiers, we would have carried on. You don't want to work in a condition where you are being judged based on one game and not your body of work. So I guess what happened at the World Cup didn't matter and it never really had anything to do with football. Donaldson said it's because i disagree with the way they want to treat players and coaches and i defended the girls they have been waiting for the opportunity to do this basically they have been trying to do this from june he said from day one when he said women's football will never catch on in jamaica and people will never support women's football and i told him he was wrong I realize the relationship with Dennis Strong has been topsy-turvy since then, Donaldson revealed. 
he said nobody cares about women's football in Jamaica and it doesn't matter how bad the men's team is the men will get more support than women that was when we were trying to go to Australia for the Cup of Nations tournament and from that day I knew we were always going to be fighting for the girls because it revealed to me that they really don't care about the girls so according to Lauren it was not football reasons you know there was a fallout between him and Dennis Strong also we all know about the situation with the bus with Elaine Walker Brown at Duns River so that led to a lot of hatred on the JFF's part you know they really wanted to get rid of Lauren Danielson and you know this contract being up was the perfect way to do that just not renew it but people Reggae Girl fans what will happen now you know domino effect remember you know, the girls wanted Lauren Danielson they pretty much hired Lauren Danielson got rid of Vin Blaine a coach that had a 100% win record with the team in that spell they didn't want Vin Blaine they got rid of him they brought in Lauren Danielson did the JFF consult with the girls when they decided not to renew Lauren Danielson I don't think so so you know the girls will definitely be upset right now they enjoy playing under Lauren and you know that will have an impact on some of the girls some of the girls might not want to come and represent the reggae girls they might not want to play under any other coach you know we don't know as yet how that will play out you know when they get called they might say look personal reason i cannot make it you know what i mean you know it's going to be a new era the players that lauren has been developing we don't know if the new coach will use those players he might want another set of players or call up previous players that were out of the team you know we have developed a core you know from the world cup till now there has been a core of players and you know everything will be dismantled the reggae girls era could be over this coach has carried us so far persons may say he cannot carry us any further but I disagree nobody thought that we would even make it to the World Cup remember we were drawn in a difficult group in the qualifications in Mexico in Mexico's group nobody saw us getting out of that group we did nobody saw us going on and qualifying for the World Cup we did nobody saw us getting out of the group we did that history makers and Lauren would be the perfect man to carry us forward you know hopefully make some more history you know persons new to the women's game and a lot of persons are new to the reggae girls team they're, they're looking at Lauren and saying that he's defensive and the team is not attacking but they came along when we were playing top top quality teams where were they when we were playing the lower tier teams where we were able to show our class and you know attack and get goals you know we've been playing high level opposition for the past two years so obviously the team will be looking different you know we are growing we're learning how to to play against these tougher teams and that's what they want you know we want a jamaica team to test their metal against the big guns of world football and we have been doing that you know we played against canada number 10 ranked team in the world fortunately we were unable to make it to the olympics but we did well reasonably well over the two legs Losing Lauren Donaldson is not good at this moment. 
um, he has been in the women's game in the USA. He has links with a lot of players. Lauren Dunnans along with former coach Hugh Menzies. They are underground in the US and they have contact with a lot of players. You know, potential reggae girls, you know, so will they still help the, the program or or not? We is yet to see, you know, we don't want to lose some of our top scouts. You know, they have the master plan in terms of bringing in talent into this team. You know, we saw the major improvement in this team over the years. Getting rid of Lauren, you know, will definitely stop some of our progression. So what's next for Jamaica in terms of coach? Who's up next? According to sources, potentially the new reggae girls coach will be Xavier Gilbert, the assistant. Let that sink in people. Not confirmed, but I'm hearing that Xavier Gilbert is a front runner for the job. Would you be happy with Xavier Gilbert taking over the reggae girl's job? Is it too big of a job for Gilbert? He has been one of the assistants, you know, for years now. Can he make that jump? Will he be respected amongst the girls? We'll just have to wait and see. This is Eduguna. Thanks for watching. And always remember, like, share, and subscribe.